Yeah, yeah, this is B right here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first nigga play on my body, a nigga. Uh, I just check my balance. I probably pull up to your hood and come buy me a nigga. No cap. You know that your hoe told you that nigga crazy. Don't think that she lied to your nigga. Bitch, get caught with your hoe when I'm popping the boat. Now they hot just like Bobby and Whitney. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q, and I'm back here again with another video for you guys. Before we get started, you guys already know the deal, but if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on because like half of you guys are not subscribed yet, and I'm trying to change that up a little bit. Also, follow me on social media at Quentin Bobbitt. Everything, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, if you want to add me there. And of course, always check the description below for any drum kits. Anything you hear in this video that we're about to make will be from my drum kit. Q Volume 1 Essentials, which is available at drumify.com. So if you guys are willing to purchase that, that really helps me out a lot. But anyways, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that Jetson bounce that you know every single beat Jetson makes. It has just a ridiculous bounce. So in this video, I'm just going to be breaking down what he does to get that and some steps you can take to make your drums sound as bouncy as his. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into FL. All right, so I got FL pulled up right now, and I already pulled up a loop by Jackick, another member of Split Mime. And basically what I was looking for in this loop was just something maybe with like a flute, something kind of like dark and melodic, you know, just like your typical Jetson loops. This is what it sounds like. So I don't know about you, but I heard that and instantly got some Jetson vibes. So what I'm going to do is, because first thing I noticed was it's a little too slow. I brought the sample in, made sure it was on time, and I put this mode to stretch. It usually starts on default as resample. Put it on a stretch, and this allows you to change the BPM to whatever you like, and it'll keep the sample locked into the grid. So I'm going to bring this up to probably like 130-something. Stick with 133 for now. And you might notice that I actually have the baby Suge acapella in here, and this is just going to be for later in the song. It might just help me add a little more bounce just to have some actual rapper vocals in the background. And I also have this set to stretch and lock to the grid just so when I change the BPM, it doesn't move. The first thing I'm going to do is drag in pattern one into the playlist. And we're just going to make this four bars long because one thing you're going to notice in Jetson is he doesn't really have that complex drums. It's usually something that repeats for four bars. And so what I'm going to do is just duplicate this over four times to make it as long as the loop. And then we're going to go into the channel rack and we're just going to go to my kit, like I said before, Q essentials volume one and i'm just gonna find a clap i like i'm gonna be looking for something bright and crispy because usually jetson uses some crispy sounds i like this clap right here called eternal i'm using this midi i have in my kit called default pattern which is just your default clap pattern and then i'm gonna go to the hi-hat and i'm gonna be using this hi-hat from my kit called hit two drag that in first i'm gonna start out with fill each two steps I'm going to bring this out knob up just a little bit to shorten that hi-hat out. Go to the piano roll. I'm going to set the grid to one-sixth beat. And then I'm going to just listen and find some spots that I want to add some rolls. If you go and highlight the notes where you make a roll and hold right-click, it'll actually allow you to do this with the velocities. I believe it's called a crescendo. And then before I do any snares or perks like that, I want to keep the percussion super simple just so I could go in. Because what you'll notice is Jetson's 808s are usually the most complex part about his beats, but they're also usually pretty short patterns. So I'm going to be using this 808 for my kit called New Mira. You'll actually notice, you've probably seen this 808 before. Jetson uses it a lot. And all I'm going to do is just boost it a little bit, turn this clip on, and just drag it up a tiny bit. And then hit cut itself. And we're going to see if we can find a pattern. Another cool thing Jetson usually does is he starts the first 808 like in higher, like a higher octave up. So he'll do something like this. So we're going to be doing some kind of bounce like that. All right, so I'm liking this 808 pattern right here. really think the only thing left to add is a kick and maybe a snare we'll have to see what we can do this kick nuke should probably work really well with this 808 all i'm going to do is bring it down to a or a sharp instead of c just so it's a little darker so three kicks and then we're just duplicating that over for four bars 
can see that 808 is pretty quiet, so we're gonna turn that up. All right, so the next thing would just be arrangement. And what I did here is just, I turned on the DaBaby Suge vocals. And what I'm gonna do, go to the pattern, we're gonna split it by channel. And we're gonna drag everything, oops, drag everything into, button there, everything in the playlist. And we're just gonna make them all the same length. Get this over a few times. And actually what I'm gonna do is drag this over like this. So we have a longer intro. But for the arrangement, I'm basically keeping it like this. And I'm just gonna have the drums drop out right here. And for the second part of the melody, I'm gonna bring the part that has a flute out. I'm gonna make this right here unique. We're gonna drop it down. Or actually what I'm gonna have to do, make it unique and bring it to a different track. So we'll bring it to number two. And what I'm gonna do is copy this fruity EQ over. Oh Lord, Jesse made another one. Huh? Back in the mail, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just signed a deal, I'm on. Yeah, yeah. Actually, just brought the vocals want, back to the normal spot. Play if you want, let's do it. Huh? I'm a young CEO, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first nigga play on my body, a nigga. Uh, I just check my balance, I'll probably pull up to your hood and come buy me a nigga. No cap. You know that your host told you that nigga. Yeah, and then all you really gotta do is so for this song, it actually works better instead of just duplicating the whole thing over. I'm gonna just bring the drums back in right here. Then duplicate this over so it plays twice, and that should be the full song. Yeah, you can see right there, it ends pretty much perfectly with the baby. We'll just let that play out. But yeah, this is B right here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first nigga play on my body, a nigga. I just check my balance, I'll probably pull up to your hood and come buy me a nigga. No cap. You know that your hoe told you that nigga crazy. Don't think that she lied to your nigga. Bitch, he caught with your hoe when I'm popping them both. Now they hot. All right, guys, so you know the deal. The video's done. I will play the beat at the end of the video for you guys if you want to listen to it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought and what you want to see next. Like always, the links for any of my social medias or any of the sounds you heard in this video, especially my new drum kit, will be available in the description below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Your hoe told you that nigga crazy. Don't think that she lied to your nigga. Bitch, he caught with your hoe.